There are three things I know about relating with the Holy Spirit. Number one, intimacy with the Holy Spirit is atmosphere dependent. Your first sacrifice is not to call him. Your first sacrifice is the labor to culture the atmosphere that makes his presence conducive. But the hardest dimension of working with the Holy Spirit, the sacrifice of creating the atmosphere, simulating heaven in your environment, to allow the Holy Spirit comfortable. He says, now arise, O God. Solomon was speaking. He says, come to your resting place. Not come to a house I have built. I, I have simulated heaven within a physical structure. Find comfort in it. You can turn your house into a habitation conducive for the Holy Spirit. You can turn your prayer altar, you can turn your bathroom, you can turn anywhere to a place of real fellowship. The presence of God is atmosphere dependent. Number two, you want to walk with the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit only relates with people from a standpoint of brokenness and contriteness. You will never truly walk with the Holy Spirit until you are willing to be broken ever broken not once broken ever broken death works in you daily that life will come out of it to walk in others brokenness so the atmosphere number two brokenness brokenness nothing i know that attracts the spirit of god to the life of a man like brokenness and contriteness number three the third key to enjoying the ministry of the holy spirit is obedience to his voice and his instructions the holy spirit is an extension of the will of the father through the christ and ignoring and trivializing his instructions will close up the continuity of that lecture that dealing process this is the year that god will speak to you and say oh go on a fast three days drop a sacrifice do this the grace to hear his voice and to be prompt in obeying it. intimacy with the holy spirit so dominion is not just an impartation you will need to open up yourself to the ordinances of priesthood you will need to labor in the spirit to access light light enough to shine out any darkness number three you must trust god to be productive productive command results all wise and then number four the ministry of the holy spirit that brings power truly let me tell you god desires like never before to empower the saints never before the things that we are seeing are only bits and pieces they are only tests there are higher dimensions of real graces that are coming these graces are not for churches this grace is not for cities. These graces are transgenerational. But God is beckoning on men and women who will stay to know him enough. That his presence will be more than gold. His presence will be more than reputation. His presence will be more than career. It takes time to know God. There is no knowing God in a nutshell. It does not happen. You will have to labor and stay. One course in the school of the spirit can take two months. The next course can take six months. You must stay till he's done. Hallelujah. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. And for us as a family of faith, as a global family of faith, it's important for us to heed to these instructions. Because these are instructions that are scriptural and are a reflection of the voice of God. That means that you return and begin to fan your prayer altar to flames. Lord, grant me the grace to pray. I conquer spiritual laziness. No excuses. I pray in season and out of season. Not just give me prayer. Oh God, do this. No, no, no. The kind of prayer that transforms. The kind of prayer that molds you into a newer and superior version of yourself. If your prayer is petition driven, you are not doing much in the spirit. And then light. 
light will require the labor of study the spirit of revelation works when there is an atmosphere of meditation and contemplation proverbs 18 1 true desire a man having separated himself he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom the spirit of wisdom does not come to busy people you must be able to isolate yourself lord open my eyes show me what the ancient saw shaka and you are searching and you are searching you are sleepy but you are searching and then light comes from heaven a chapter is open and you will see something you have always looked at but never seen you will stand and run in the strength of that light and you will watch darkness move productivity will require learning learning you must be willing to upgrade your mind you must be willing to upgrade your intelligence upgrade your understanding this is the year to not be embarrassed about your ignorance when you find an area of ignorance do not be embarrassed stay and insist till it leaves hallelujah and if you have not subscribed i have come to the end endeavor to subscribe take over and that will help take us to do more god bless you as we continue to pray together take over take over i have come to the end of